How's it going ladies and gents, boys and girls? In this video, we take a look at what's new in iOS 14.5 Beta 3. Check it out. How's it going guys? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is iOS 14.5 Developer Beta number three. Now admittedly, there are not a lot of brand new, like huge features found in iOS 14.5 Beta 3. However, there are some features that we've seen before that have come back. There's also some features that are in the code that aren't yet user facing. And we're gonna talk about that right now. Now this first one is a very subtle one, but it's nonetheless appreciated. Basically when you have the unlock for iPhone option enabled for your Apple Watch on your paired iPhone, you get a handy notification at the top of your screen to tell you that your Apple Watch has been unlocked with your iPhone. Now the notification itself is not new. It's very much in the same style as the, the Apple Pencil notification on an iPad or the AirPods battery notification on your iPhone or iPad. So here's my Apple Watch on my wrist. It is locked. Now I'm gonna lock my iPhone and I'm going to unlock my iPhone and that should trigger the Apple Watch to unlock as well. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna wake up my iPhone, unlock it. Now you see right here at the top, the notification that I was telling you about. But here in beta three, along with the notification that your Apple Watch has been unlocked, you get a very nice looking glyph of the Apple Watch with the solo loop. So that is not a big feature by any means, but nonetheless, the attention to detail is appreciated. So let's move on to the next feature, something that debuted with beta one that was taken away from beta two. Now it's back in beta three, the ability to select your default music player when requesting music via Siri. Now what's interesting about this in beta three is look how the request used to look here on the original beta. In beta one, it would simply ask you which app would you like to use to play back music that you requested via Siri. But notice what it looks like when you do the same thing in beta three. It actually explicitly tells you I'm learning how to choose the right audio apps for you. So it doesn't appear at least at this point that Apple's going to actually set up a settings panel to let you go in and configure your default music app. It basically wants to use Siri to intelligently learn which app you want to use for the songs or media that you request. So if you request a certain song to play back via Spotify, it will use Spotify to play back future requests for that particular piece of media. That's at least what I'm seeing when I'm testing it out here. So I was able to play a certain song. I request that song again without explicitly saying Spotify, it would use Spotify. But if I chose another song, it would default back to Apple Music. So it'll be interesting to see in the future what Apple decides to do, if they will allow you to go into a settings panel and say, hey, for all requests, I wanna use Spotify, that's it. Or if it's gonna to try to use Siri to intelligently determine which app or which service to use to play back the media that you request. Right now, it still seems like the feature is sort of baking in the oven. It isn't quite done yet, but it'll be interesting to see how the, the next few betas fare. Now, another new addition in beta three is the items tab in the Find My app. And you may be thinking to yourself, Jeff, didn't you show me that before? And you would be right because in iOS 14.4, if you were a developer with Xcode installed, you get the developer tab here within the settings app of iOS. You could actually go into the developer panel, scroll down, and you would find the ability to enable the items tab manually. So this is on iOS 14.4 that you're seeing here, but in iOS 14.5 beta three, the items tab is visible right from the jump without having to change anything. You also find an updated splash screen with an explainer for support for accessories within the Find My app. So here is iOS 14.5 beta three with the new items tab within the Find My app. This tab of course is gonna allow you to track all sorts of things, accessories from third parties, of course, the upcoming air tags that are presumably right around the corner. Seems like we've been talking about air tags forever, but it truly does feel like they are right around the corner with this latest addition to the Find My app. So of course, when you tap add item, it'll search for those items. You can follow the instructions provided by the manufacturers to make your item discoverable. 
presumably this will be extremely easy with the air tags maybe just hold it close to your iphone tap add and it'll find the air tags now you can also use the find my app to search for items that you have found and you can see if the owner left a message to help you get back in touch with them in an effort to help recover their item so with the 14.5 release candidate launches with the items tab in tow you can expect the air tags to be right around the corner but here's something to think about say this card right here was an air tag What's to prevent someone from inconspicuously putting that in your pocket or putting it in your bag or backpack and then stalking you or tracking you without you knowing it? Well, thankfully, Apple's thought of that. If you go to the Me tab of the Find My app, you'll see an item safety alerts toggle. And what this will do is it will alert you whenever it notices an unknown item moving along with you. So if someone tries to be slick, they try to put an air tag or any other device that is compatible with Find My Tracking, iOS will actually alert you that, hey, something's moving along with you that you don't recognize. So you definitely would wanna keep item safety alerts enabled and it's, it's enabled by default, of course. But if you turn it off, then you're gonna get that warning asking you if you really wanna turn off these safety features, the owner of an unknown item will be able to see your location and you will no longer receive notifications when an unknown item is found moving with you. So basically Apple will alert you saying, hey, there's something moving along with you that's unknown. We want you to be aware of that and you may wanna take action depending on the circumstance, right? So this will prevent people from being malicious basically and tracking you without your knowledge. So you definitely wanna keep item safety alerts on. You don't wanna disable it because then you wouldn't know if something like this happened and someone put a Find My compatible device in your bag or backpack or pocket without your knowledge. This way you would be alerted when one of those unknown items is moving along with you. That honestly makes me feel a lot better about AirTags. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And we've talked about the Apple Card enhancements in previous beta releases, but in iOS 14.5 Beta 3, we're seeing even more details about the new Apple Card family support. So like its name states, Apple Card family will allow you to share your Apple Card with other family members through iCloud family sharing. And the owner will be able to set up spending limits. In Beta 3, we're seeing allow spending only for guest users so that you can't see things like transaction history or balance. But if you don't mind sharing details, there's also a co-owner mode as well. And if you're a co-owner, you also have the option of having your own credit score in the bureaus instead of sharing the same credit score. So that's really cool. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at 14.5 Developer Beta 3. What's your favorite upcoming change or feature? Let me know down below in the comments section. Thumbs up if you appreciate this video and also hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.